What's up, everyone? It's video. Welcome back to Let's Play Ice School Valley. And now we're gonna wage war, I think, on Riften. Most specifically, on Maven Blackbriar. Send a sentinels to Riften. Yes, your grace. Your sentinels await your arrival in Riften. They'll do nothing until you arrive. Very good. My lord, in order to minimize collateral damage and catch the guards unaware, I recommend a surprise visit after nightfall. Do you have any questions? Yes, my lord. What shall we do with the Jarl? Shall we arrest her, or do you want her to disappear? To avoid unwanted complications, arrest the Jarl and those involved. Proving her involvement in these heinous deeds may take a long time, my lord. <coughs> if it is even possible. It would take a long time, yes. Time I will use wisely. I hope you plan on letting me tag along. Otherwise... Good luck, your grace. Yeah, of course. Go to Missville Keep in Riften to officially claim the rift. Um, actually, come with me. My sword arm is yours. Alright, anything else before that? Badon? What is it? Did you hear something? So let's go to Riften. To claim it. Hopefully it was a good thing just to go in uninvited. Imperials. Have Varus announce your occupation of the rift. Oh, you're here, Varro. Well, Varus, since you're here, announce my occupation of this hold. As a direct result of the unprovoked attack on Icicle Valley and its sovereign, the Lord of Icicle Valley Hereby places the rift under protection. Uh, how's the morale amongst the Sentinels? Morale is mostly good. The past several years, many of us have lost friends and family. But the Sentinels are our home now. And we've you to thank for that. Uh, that's reassuring. Most of these boys would have ended up as bandits or dead if not for you. We remember that. Alright then. The following is current headcount of the members of the Sentinel Company in the Rift, including Riften, Iverson, and Shortstone. There is no siege of Riften. You hear something? My lord, if you release her, she may send men to Icicle Valley in retaliation. You should at least keep her sons hostage. Tell her, if I ever suspect an attack, I'll burn Riften to the ground. Even sincere threats don't carry the weight of deeds, my lord. But she will get your message. You seem extra focused today, my lord. My mind's on the Reach. The Reach, my lord? You mean the Reach? You're not thinking of annexing Markarth, are you? Surely there must be somewhere closer. In fact, everywhere is closer. Forgetting that Markarth is also one of the best fortified cities in all of Skyrim. I came to hear op opinions. I came to hear options. Options? Not only would marching a procession of sentinels from here to Markarth fatigue the men, but the entire country would see you coming, including the Jarl of the Reach. Uh, small groups incognito could be sent without raising alarm. True, but where would they congregate? Any outposts close enough to Markarth to be strategically viable would be noticed by the Markarth patrol. Uh, a large cave or ruin would do. Hmm. Old smuggler's trail into the Red Road might do as a staging area. We could send sentinels there in small groups, as you suggest, disguised as caravan folk and travelers. But there would still be Markarth's stone wall to contend with. Sentinels dressed as visiting nobles could kidnap the Arrow. The Jarl of Markarth doesn't receive unknown visitors. He's suspicious of everyone, and rightly so. The Forsworn have taken Markarth before and are a constant threat even now. Do you have a better idea? The Reachmen know the city intimately. Perhaps they know of a secret entrance. The Forsworn are wild and not to be trusted, sure, but they're also desperate. You could offer an alliance in taking Markarth in exchange for their help later. Uh, they would make fierce allies. Securely maintaining three holds so far apart would be challenging under the best of conditions, my lord. 
Letting the Forsworn keep Barkarth could gain their support in your future dealings with neighboring Hoffingar, for example. Uh, you have a valid point. With or without the Forsworn, I wonder how you intend to justify the presence of the Sentinels so far away from home. If we were to seek new Sentinels in the Reach, it would explain why your soldiers are there. Uh, good. You got new troops while so I meet with the Forsworn. Your Grace, while your motivation is admirable, certainly someone less critical could be sent to treat with the Forsworn. If I'm going to the Reach to hire new Sentinels, let me introduce your cause to the Forsworn while I'm there. I prefer to do things myself. My lord, if the Forsworn agree to your alliance, then I can send word for you to meet with them. Otherwise, it'd be a waste of your time. I imagine you need time to form the rest of your plans for Skyrim. Is that all then? Well, there is one more thing, your grace. A minor formality. While I am gone, I will obviously not be able to accompany you during your other exploits, and I formally ask that you release me from other duties so I may give this task my full attention. Give me a moment. Yes, your grace. Reach for the sky. Sky. Give Bane your permission to leave. Uh, yes, of course. Dedicate yourself to the task at hand. Well, thank you, my lord. Very well. Send me word after you met with the Forsworn. Of course, my lord. I will travel with several sentinels to the cavern near the Red Road and set up a camp. I'll then continue on to speak with the Forsworn. Give the fall a cloak, you, my lord. Well, that's new, but uh, but thank you. So I need to wait three days for Galen. Okay, um, the courier is here. Um, yes? My lord, I have a message for your eyes only. Thanks. Read Bane Earl's letter. Masses, Massa from Bane Earl. As much as I'd like to thank you personally for saving us from that dreadful mine, I hope you understand my not wanting to stick around. A patrol from the nearby town set me up with his old clothes and some food. I described you to him and he said he'd give you his note if he ever saw you. I'm hitting to the coast and then to Morrowind. Thank you, stranger, for my life. Bin Earl. Oh, really? You're leaving me now? My lord, the Forsworn Vikrimara accepts your invitation to meet. However, she is unwilling to leave the Reach. I have arranged for a meeting at the entrance of the old smuggler's trail, so that if you wish, you may also inspect the sentinels while there. Bin Earl. Okay, um, you're dismissed. Guess I'm going. Hey guys, what's up? Sentinel, 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 Sentinel. Hmm? Aren't Claw Madin? Need something? Okay then. Like That's a custom name. So I found it interesting. Hey Baden. Baden. Your troops are ready for inspection, my lord. And here is the force worn on boy, Vic Tomorrow. Oh, Vic Tomorrow. Couldn't really uh, guess what to say then. It's a she, but why does she have a be- Never mind then. I don't want to know. Greetings, Simon Rosalso Raylan, Lord of Icicle Valley. I spoke with your man there. He claims you will help us take back the Reach. I admit I find it hard to believe. Maybe you can tell me why you would help the Forsworn. Why put your own realm at risk of reprisals? Uh, I believe we can help each other. How? Uh, I need your help when I take the rest of Skyrim. <laughs> Madness. The Forsworn have been unable to take back one hold. And you stand there calmly saying, you want our help to take all of Skyrim as if it were a simple thing. I can take Markarth without your help, but cannot keep it. What makes you think you can do what the Forsworn have been unable to do all these years? I have a well-equipped, well-trained army. I see only a handful of warriors here. I'm on my way to inspect my new troops. Care to join me? I would like that, yes. But first... What guarantee do we have that once Markarth is ours, you will just leave it to us and walk away? What is to keep 
you from betraying us. Open war. Sitting upon the throne of Markarth would endanger my own city. So you will help us take Markarth without revealing yourself publicly then? Go home and leave us to the wrath of the other whole. It sounds too good to be true, but you offer action and I like that. I offer my help in taking Markarth in exchange for a lasting alliance. Very well. Let us see your forces. Victor Marat, inspect your troops. Oh, he's fast. Can you inspect them? Huh? Let's not die. So are we gonna run to this? Or where are we going, actually? Oh, over there. Okay. My troops, what are they doing even here? I have no idea. Unless, this is one of the forests they built over here. Looks like it to me. Red Road, East Gate. I didn't even know that was here. Oh, tr the troops are ready. Okay, Victor Mara. Well, what do you think? Your people are well outfitted, and Ebony certainly isn't easy to come by. Who exactly are you? I'm the one who brings the Sentinels to help with the Forsworn. To help the Forsworn. So it would appear. There is still one detail we have not yet discussed. How do you plan to get these fine warriors into Markarth? I'm open to suggestions. As you approach the city, there is a small river to the left that flows through Markarth. There is a loose grate within the wall that two, maybe three, could get through quietly. But they will be targeted quickly, so we must enter from multiple locations. We'll have one or two rent a room at the inn. Agreed. Two of my people will rent a room at the inn as a married couple. One of yours should also take a room. Perhaps as a traveler looking for work or something equally inconspicuous so as not to arouse attention. Okay, timing will be crucial or the gates will be locked. Once the gates are secured, we should use our most experienced archers to remove all the exterior guards and any sentries along the walls. Once this is done, our combined forces can take the city. Yes, they can. It sounds... It, it always sounds easier than it really is. I will have word spread among my people. When can yours be ready? We're ready now. Excellent. I will bring several Forsworn warriors just north of the Selvius farm in Markarth. You should meet us there tonight. Darkness will cover our movements better, and there will be fewer people about. Send your troops to a meeting point. Okay, Baden, um, I'm sending you ahead to the Markarth meeting point. Yes, my lord. May I ask, what do you plan to do with the Jarl once the city's been taken? I'll let you know after. Yes, lord. We'll see you at the gathering point then. Come on, you Nyx hounds! Time to pay for that fancy gear you're wearing. <laughs> meet your allies. Meet your allied forces near the Sel Selvius Farm in Arkard at night. Well, it's kind of 9 p.m., so I guess that's gonna work. I mean, I haven't even discovered the farm, but I'll I'll do it. Okay, well, I'm practically god with this armor, so. Who am I? Oh, hey, dragon. What's up? Oh, there it goes. It's gonna die. It's dead. And that's how you kill a dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Once we liberate Markarth, you and I will meet in the keep to capture the Jarl. Forsworn across the reach are prepared to flock to the city. It begins now. Our attack must be quick. Quiet and hard. That's what she said. Well, let's go. Take Markarth. Holy! Did you hear how many freaking things were unsheathed? I know this field of view gets annoying sometimes, but um. Hey, Sentinel. Take care. Don't tell me what to do, man. Take care of those flames. You can take care of my dick. I'm the Lord of Darkness, not of Icecomb Valley. The guards are still fucking naked as always. That takes care of that. 
Because my load order is fucked. My load order is really fucked. Hey, Baden. Let's go. Let's go in. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? I fucking killed the horses for the god. Okay, let's go in the goddamn city already. After you. The fuck are all the guards? Meet Vic tomorrow at Understone Keep. Was that all the goddamn guards? Let's go to Understone Keep then. I think Vic tomorrow is already inside. Thanks for watching. I upload daily gaming videos, so it'd be in your best interest to subscribe if you like them. Cause it's just one drink that we will sink on